so I'm like. Oh, so you don't want to play it? <laughs> a little bit. There's a there's a second one that came out that I don't know if it's a prequel or if it's like a sequel. Oh, uh, you're talking about the one with the you play as the the lady. Right. I don't know if that game's out yet, but I saw I it at E3. I don't think it's out yet. Oh, okay, okay. So the, it's in development. Yeah. I mean, I got uh, once I finish uh, Celeste, I gotta get through Shovel Knight. Okay. Those yeah. games, dude. There's so many good. A long amount of time or entertainment. Oh, dude, it's great. The amount of uh, games that are on the Switch is so insane. I still I want to finish, or I, I don't have Octopath, but I want to get it okay. and play it. Octopath yeah, looks super tight. Right yeah, yeah, oh my goodness. I love the graphics in Octopath, too, like their their style. like It's like a mix of 8-bit and oh, like yeah, modern that, for, day. For me, that's the coolest part of that game is yes. the art style. Yes, it's know. so tight. As a old man, I really well, appreciate that. Fellow old man. Yes, yes. I, how old are you? I'm 28. 27. 27? Dang. I'm older than you, bro. Yeah, well, you have accumulated <laughs> more wisdom. <laughs> All right, so Con Con still uh, rocking the Luigi and Tatornator, of course. Oh, I mean, both of you guys still playing the Smash 4 games. Um, I was very surprised that Con Con was not on the uh, PR. I mean, I didn't uh, look at all the data and whatnot, and I know there's been a lot of up-and-comers, so... But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Con Con will be able to participate in Breakthrough. Con Con is such a character. I love him. Oh, Connor, yeah, Connor's the best. He, uh, he's one of the more uh, interesting people I've ever met. But, like, not in a bad way, obviously. Yeah, I mean... And he's really good at the game, too. He is. Unfortunately, a little <laughs> overshadowed by uh, Elegant. Yeah, and I mean, I'm I'm not to John for anyone, but Con Con definitely has a bunch of other things going on. You know, what I mean, I, he's about I um, I've talked with uh, Connor a lot, and I believe he's uh, this is his last summer of Smash. He's not. He's gonna I be thought that's what he said last summer. Well, no, he he like got into med school. Yeah. So after this summer is done, he's like going. He got accepted into med school, and he he said he can't really play the game. Like really, hard, you know what I mean. Like he wants to really focus on med school. Yeah, yeah. Which is a, a great life decision. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but but smash. No, but smash uh, I, have, <laughs> I have some friends going through that right now. So. Because med school uh, is yeah, yeah. quite demanding. It is. It is. But just, he said he might come back like the next summer of Smash. But like obviously, since he hasn't been playing the whole time during school, like he's just gonna suck. And he's just mainly gonna be coming out for fun and stuff like that. So this is his last like serious like. Go of Smash. Well, we wish him the best, but he's got to get through Taternator first in this bracket. Yeah. Dude. And he's, uh, Tater's been doing an amazing job looking, armoring, armoring right through the uh, fireballs there and, uh, man, getting so much damage on the second stock. And with this rage, we might be seeing Tater go three stocks to one. Oh, the directional. Oh, oh my okay, that goodness. Was, we got the red, which doesn't necessarily mean it was untackable, but, but probably, probably untackable. does. Yeah. <laughs> With all the rage as well, and and right now Con Con just cannot find this stock. Where do you think Luigi gets all of these vacuum cleaner heads? I there's an infinite supply, huh? Well, you know, <laughs> oh, he fell out of the dash tag. That would have killed too. That's very unfortunate. And just like that, look at how much damage. Oh. He went for the stock there. Oh dang, he out. That's funny. He was trying to avoid the cyclone. <laughs> Just totally like SD right there. Yeah. All right. Well, zero to death maybe. Con Con. Luigi's been known to do it to you. And that is why Tater is making sweet love to this platform. <laughs> Not leaving its side. Oh, the platform. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Platform. Uh oh. Wow. He did 80 percent. Wow. That was a lot of damage. That wasn't death, but that was a big, lot of damage. Big damage. I mean, all he needs is an upbeat now, right? Yeah, pretty much. Cyclone is another great tool to get people off. It does. Yeah, Cyclone is a, it's, tangible, it's a man. high uh, risk, high reward option in this game. It beats out so many moves. You yeah. wouldn't think. Oh, the single Just coin! With the single coin. Single coin, yeah. He did not, wasn't ready for it, maybe. I don't know if he had jump or not, but oh wow, that armor through the fireball. I do not care about your projectiles. The fire. Fire. <laughs> oh no, I he had to have had his jump. I swear, very interesting. But 
nonetheless, man, Tater wins that game one, but who's going to have the momentum going into game two? I feel like it's going to be Mr. Concon. Yeah, he almost brought that entire game back, and so clearly he's figured something out. Yeah, yeah. Definitely the pacing, you can kind of see it swing over to Mr. Concon's favor, and that's one thing that I think Mr. Concon is uh, better at than Elegant is his sense of like neutral game. His neutral is really, really good. He has, he's very patient. He knows when and when not to go in. Um, Elegant is, Elegant's neutral is a lot better on the aggressive side and his punish game, like when he does get the neutral, when he super makes it count, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's the one thing that makes Elegant so strong. But I do think Mr. Con Con is very, very strong in neutral. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, Luigi, he gra he, all he needs is one grab, right? So if Con Con feels like he has a good read here or, or something, we could see a complete reversal. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right now, once again, Tater Nader starting off with a very strong opening. And man, I haven't seen Tater compete in a minute. So it, it'll be really cool to see. Tater, Tater was previously PR'd in, um, towards the end of Smash 4. So to see him come back and I, I feel like there's some people that it just this game didn't really click for them in the beginning or taking a longer for them to like transition into this game. Yeah. So I, I definitely felt like Tater was a strong player at the end of Smash 4, but maybe just didn't enjoy this game too much. Well, yeah, and I think part of that is just the amount of matchups in this game. You know, you just there's so much you need to learn in terms of uh, not your not only your own character, but the characters that you play against. Yes, very true. Oh, man, Luigi's new up tilt is very good. I can't even remember what his old up tilt was. Uh, it was pretty similar, but it just, the, the way it worked was different. Yeah, I think this one, like, the way he swings his arm is, like, better. Oh, this should be death. Oh, no, but he catches out with the grab instead. Oh, that's a little I mean. aggressive. Okay. Now he, the stock trade, that's really, like, obviously super in favor of Kong Kong there. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, Tater committing pretty hard to that uh, the cannonball. Maybe what, didn't calculate like the lag. I think Tater's already thinking about the next game right now, probably. But yeah, he's not completely out of this yet. I mean, he's not. But Concon's making it very clear that he is not approaching. As he that's, hops that's over up for uh, a character like Bowser Jr. Right. If uh, if Luigi decides he doesn't want to play your game, he's got a stock lead. There's not a lot you can do. And we may be watching this for some time. Now, What's Korean. How, oh, we've got the, the split camera now. Korean, how was your day today? Uh, I had a pretty good day. Like, oh, whoa, that almost went through. Oh, whoa, is he coming in with it? Oh, oh, uh, oh something might happen. Oh, oh, no, 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 nothing happened. No, no, okay. Yeah, today was a, a chill day. I, I went to go get uh, Termi's haircut. Termi was given the uh, the groomer a hard time. I came in towards the end of the haircut. Yeah. And he started whining. Oh, he got a hit. He got a hit. Oh, so exciting. Worth it. 14%. 14.6%. Yeah, I just need about uh, 10 more of those. Yeah. Yeah, but like uh, Termi started acting up towards the end. And he was like whining. And I was like, man, Termi. Make me look like a bad like dog parent right now. Like just listen to the groomer. Oh, oh. But the groomer said that uh, other than that, he was uh, very he was a good boy for most of the groomer. Okay, good. Maybe yeah, feel sometimes a little bit it's just better. The owner that yeah. makes you uh, makes the dog excited. They're like, they're like, oh, I can go now. Yeah, but um, the groomer did give Termi a tie. That was hype. Oh, wait, we got a grab. Whoa, we got some boxing action going on. Oh, oh gloves oh, are on. Gloves are on right now, and we are, we're playing the game. Gloves are off, by which I mean the gloves are on. <laughs> and just like that, Tater has racked up 80% here. Are we going back to the showdown? Tater's using this can a lot, and it's confusing it, me. It got buffed. Not a very good No, well, it was really bad in four, but it got, it got buffed. It's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad, but it's usable. It was, like, almost not usable. Hey, I, right now, Concon might have to do something because he's at 142%. Where are we going? Where are we going? All right. All right, well, no punish there. 
Hong Kong jumping over all these projectiles once again. Getting some chip damage. It is the back air out of shield. Hong Kong has the rage now as well. Yeah, all he needs is one good hit. That's oh. Bad, but the good hit is going to come from Taternator. He didn't and think Taternator was right. a one stock dead game. Then you think you things have changed? Yeah, I think it's changed bit. since like three minutes ago. Three, <laughs> three minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> What's the SoCal rule set? It's uh, seven minutes, right? I, I think it's eight. Oh, it's eight? I could be wrong though. Oh, lordy. I haven't seen it in a while. Pretty sure it's eight. We'll find out. I mean, we see it every match. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll find out <laughs> the next so match. I'll look, know. I'll look at the timer. There's so many. I know. <laughs> Oh, there's the back air, and Con Con takes game All right, there we number go. Okay. two. And now we, we, we go to game number three. Settle this once and for all. Luigi or Windy? Luigi or Windy? Would you ship Luigi and Windy? T Tempo, if you want one, you can have one. Like, you, if you want one, you can have one. Yeah, no problem. Um, <laughs> wait, who would I, like... What's the concept here? Who would I rather main or play? No, I said who would you would you ship Luigi and Wendy? Ship them? Yeah. Where? No, like relationship, you know, like Luigi and Wendy together. Could I see that? Could a you see that? Being a thing? Would no. you support that? Uh, I mean, if that's what they want, they can do whatever they want. But I, I, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that being a thing. I wouldn't be like, oh man, Luigi and Wendy would totally go off each other. I don't know. But if, hey, if that's what they want, I'm not discriminating on you're, nothing. You're kind of creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> I think Wendy's too young. <laughs> I don't know the ages actually. Dang, I should have looked this up. They're I Koopa kids, that. not Koopa teens. No, they're Koopa Lings. Koopa adolescents. Oh, are they Koopa Lings? I'm, I'm looking this up right now. No, I think uh, Luigi's Luigi's going with Daisy. Daisy sees something in Luigi that you know they're they're sticking together. They're I mean, you, you just watch them play tennis together. They're they've got a connection. I don't really understand. Their race it, is Koopa Troopas. Their race is Koopa Troopas. Yes, they're the Koopas of Troopas. Birth order? What is this? Birth. <laughs> You're going deep into the Mario lore. We're living in 2019. Everything has lore. Yeah, I think they're kids. Pac-Man has lore. Um, oh, my God. Oh, and the taunt. And the taunt. And he taunted twice. Well, was it a star kill? It was a uh, upbeat. It was upbeat. So, yeah, they're, they're definitely, like, six-ish years old. Six years. Yeah, so maybe a little young. Huh. Luigi's gonna have to wait a little bit, and he's well, taunting again. Oh no! Well, in that sense, then, then I don't support it. <laughs> oh, are you gonna get zero to death again? Uh, okay, and Tater Nail got out of it. Yeah, I, I was looking over him while that was happening because I wanted to see the moment of death, but he got out of it, and there was pure focus on Tater Nader's face. He said, "Not like this. Not getting three stock today." So you oh, can you can grab the Koopalings. See that they threw. It. Oh my God! They're doing the taunts. The taunt battle. Baiting taunt the taunt battle. to punish. It is so serious. Oh, right I'll smash out of shield. Oh, wait, wait. Is Tater gonna? Is Tater gonna what? Taunt? No. He killed him. He didn't taunt. <laughs> I thought, thought you were gonna say, is he gonna turn this around? Oh, it's possible, but very unlikely. It? Maybe. Does Wendy have like a zero to death? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, mm, that's gonna be hard then. She has like a zero to. Well, no, yeah, 20. You, yeah, no. Um, whoop, uh, Junior can get like 50 plus, 50 to 70 off one hit sometimes. Don't be sleeping on Junior combo game, man. I'm watching. Okay, there's the parry. Oh, see, parry, that was interesting parry. Going back to the patient game. Patient. Up smash? No. Gonna just go for the nair. Ooh, the earthquake hitbox on the forward air. Kind of tripping up Mr. Kong Kong. Can he catch this landing? Uh, not quite. And oh, oh, almost dies at but, Oh, that was so close. 
Okay, gets the down air and the oh, back throw good. to seal it out. Yes, Con Con will take it 2-1 over Tater Nader. Good stuff to Mr. Brand. Oh, Brad's Brand is so happy with himself. <laughs> Ooh, the, the grin. The grin. All right, so I believe we're going to switch commentators right to quick. So hope you guys right. enjoyed our commentary. See you later.